Let me start by clarifying something. Law schools do not average multiple scores. I can't repeat this enough. There's this old myth going around that law schools average multiple scores, so you're at a disadvantage for retaking and you might want to cancel if you have any idea or any inkling that the test did not go well. This is misguided, it's outdated. Law schools only report the highest score of their accepted matriculating students to the ABA, the American Bar Association. And that is what gets considered for the ever important US News law school rankings. So even those law schools that say they consider multiple scores, they're lying to you. They only take the highest, they only consider the highest in their calculations. That's the only thing they have the incentive to do. It's in their interests and that's how law school admissions deans are rated. That's how they're compensated. That determines their careers. So don't cancel unless something unexpected went terribly wrong. And I'm talking about things like the proctors screwed up the timing or you got sick or there were noises like a fire alarm or a marching band outside. Those kinds of catastrophic events that could really screw you up for the entire exam. Maybe you plan to cancel before going in anyway, and you took this just for the experience of having an official proctor test. Of course, that's fine. Cancel if you want to. If you panicked and just plain forgot everything you knew, then of course, that's a good reason to cancel. If you misbubbled, that's a good reason to cancel. And if maybe you didn't give yourself enough time to study the first time around, or this time around, whatever it is for you, if you feel you could do significantly better with a few more months to study, or you feel you really didn't give yourself enough time to study before, then those are all good reasons to consider canceling. But if you feel that things overall went all right, but then maybe there was just one or two things that did not go your way, then of course, those are reasons to not cancel. If you simply have a vague sense that things didn't go amazingly, that's common, don't worry about it, keep your score. If it just seemed a little bit harder than what you've taken before as practice material, then of course, that is also not a reason to cancel your score. And if you feel like you just didn't do as well as normal, and maybe you got a few more points wrong than you normally do, then don't cancel. Also, don't cancel the day of the exam. You have six calendar days to do it. So there's no reason to make a rash decision in the heat of the moment the day of the exam, right when you walk out or while you're still there, there's no upside to canceling sooner. So give yourself a day or two to breathe and rethink what happened, go over it in your mind, and then make a more calm decision. Now, when you're canceling, of course, you have to contact LSAC. And if you have a bad experience, you also want to contact LSAC. So visit their website, lsac.org. You can review the test day rules to make sure that you didn't misunderstand anything and you can email or call them. I like to recommend emailing over calling because that way you're getting a more official documented response from them. But again, don't cancel right away and strongly consider keeping your score because there really is virtually no downside to having a low score now and then a higher score later. And remember that whatever happened, you can always retake.